All right, guys, what is going on? So we just made it down to Nick's down here. Uh, we're gonna disassemble the four valve engine and I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna be doing with it. And there's Turretzilla. So first thing we're gonna need to do to tear this down is pull valve covers off and the front accessories off the timing cover so that we can clear it out and start tearing down the block. So we got the valve covers off again, and now let's take off the timing cover. Uh oh. So I didn't really get all that much done on this. Uh, I'm gonna update you guys when I get back home on basically what we're doing here, uh, but I do need to continue tearing this down. Unfortunately, one of the bolts broke in the harmonic balancer. Uh, but I just put everything back on I put the intake manifold and the valve covers on so it takes up less space uh, But these things are all not bolted on uh, But I'll update you guys when I get home and we'll jump right to there Alright guys, so I didn't end up finishing that video We didn't really record much and I want to give you guys a little bit more info on what we're doing with Turdzilla We just had a special guest just arrive here from Ohio. So let's go check it out. Oh, rolled up in an explorer. But who is this guy? Please check out the uh, certified Roush Explorer. Certified Roush Explorer. Also known as my dad stuck his badge on my truck and gave me his floor mats. <laughs> so this is John, Don's son. Nice to meet everybody. Also the one who sent the coils with the messed up spark plug. Yeah. My cover is not doing so well right now. Huh? And I bring presents from Ohio. Oh, okay. We got some burners. Uh, that so it doesn't ruin my truck. <laughs> oh man! That, ladies and gentlemen, is That's a good it. old Lincoln Mark Eight. Lincoln Mark Eight engine, out of a, of course, Lincoln Mark Eight with a uh, what was it, blown transmission? Uh, well, according to the guy at the junkyard, it said they had interior electrical problems, and the guy didn't want to mess with it. As far as I'm concerned, Ford and automatic transmissions don't go hand in hand, so I might guess it's an automatic transmission failure because it had more than one in the junkyard. But this motor actually turned over pretty good, so I don't think you should have any issues with it. Sweet. So and that's exactly what we need. We'll swap the cams on Turdzilla over to this, swap the Cobra intake, and be pretty much ready to go. And it's a good time too. It gets came with the exhaust manifolds. I know you were looking for those the other day, so I made sure to. They have well, we have Cobra ones. I'm just looking for some long tubes oh, to try to throw it on the car. So, yeah. so John's vote: Pro Charge or Turbo Charge? This one, B heads for the win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so you bought your Cobra, put 300 miles on it. Less than 300 miles. Less than 300 miles. I figured it out. It's exactly 218.3 <laughs> miles before it blew up. Oh man! I literally got home. I got it from Detroit. Drove a well, past my house down to Lima and came back, started it up to go get a pizza, and that's when I knew I was in trouble. So, it's <laughs> well, terrible. Let's go for a ride. Oh, let's fix God. the Cobra fix. We're gonna... Okay, let me put the tire back. <laughs> that way your neighbors don't get pissed. Nah, it's fine. Well, I have to say, you know, seeing this color in person is actually much better than it is on the actual channel when you're watching it on the, on the show. Yeah, you can't see the sparkle. You really can. Um, it's also filthy right now, but <laughs> say that again. Look at my truck. My stickers blew off on the way down here. So for the company. Uh oh. So now you have to come up and drive by when it's done. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That's how you get you need a minute to get used to your car. Yeah. So what do you think of the command center with all the going on? I got triple in mine right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't really want triple. I, I actually only wanted one. I only wanted the wide band because boost doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I'll need for me. I'll need an oil pressure gauge because I'm running turbo. Yeah. So, so uh, the future build. I don't know if we can get to see it, but uh, it's gonna be precision 76 millimeter. Turbo. Nice. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. 76, 75. Mostly hook. That's good. 
And then you just watch shift it. Oh, okay. Because the wall box. I mean, it's it's a good car. It starts right up. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Sure. Watch, start it right up. It's like. Does it fire right up? Yeah, it starts right up. There's like nothing wrong with this thing. It's not a medic car. No, like smoking or anything. I don't feel it. Yeah. Just need to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> yeah. She's got going on. Bone stock two valve. Yep, bone stock oh, yeah, two no valve. Shit. I took this vacuum line off the Turdzilla, put the good one on there. There you go. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. This takes me back, for sure. Gotta how simple this thing would be to work on or move. <laughs> I forgot about that luxury. So. I posted up a bunch of pictures of my car in progress on how it came out, you know what I mean? All the supercharger bracket, pulley assembly, it takes a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of labeling. Oh yeah, yep, I so, did I did the supercharger on this, so. Yeah. If you want to see that video, click up there. Alright, so we're going to go get some food somewhere for lunch. I'm going to take Ashley's car. <laughs> you going to go in the back? Why would I go in the back? Because you're the smallest. so pretty. Yeah, it is. Oh, you have the keys? Too. No, they're in the back. They're in the back. So this is what my looks like. There are the keys. Alright guys, so I want to fill you guys fully in on what we are doing with Turdzilla. John drove down from Ohio. He picked up this engine for $200 in Ohio. Uh, market engines are kind of hard to find down here in Florida. Uh, I think because, you know, some people know what they are. I, I think uh, the other thing is that Lincoln Mark 8s aren't the most popular down here. Uh, however, the Lincoln Mark 8 93 to, uh, I believe it's 98 uh, or 97. Uh, the engine in the Lincoln Mark 8 is a 4.6 liter 4 valve. Uh, it has a test kit aluminum block. It does not have a forged crank. However, uh, it pushes about the same power as the Cobra engine, given the uh, Cobra parts, which we're going to use. We're going to use the Cobra cams, and we're going to use the Cobra intake. It should help us achieve the same power as the Cobra engine that we do have, or the one that's all messed up from Chris. Uh, we are going to uh, basically swap the cams from the Cobra engine over to that, swap the intake manifold, and use the IMRC delete plate, uh, that we got from Abraham and we're going to use that on the Mark 8 engine. A uh, huge shout out to John. He not only, uh, John and Don, they, they not only picked up this engine up there in Ohio, but they drove it down here and John's been hanging out here and uh, we've shot a few videos and stuff like that. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so uh, Turdzilla is going to be getting that Mark 8 engine that we had in the back of the Explorer. I'm really, really excited to get that up and going. There's, there's a little surprise. We actually picked up a little something for Turdzilla. It's something that you guys have been asking me for forever for the Cobra and I'll just spill the beans right here uh, we got a set of BBK long tube headers for Turdzilla and now I know everyone's gonna say why didn't you get headers for the Cobra why aren't you using these on the Cobra and the reason because is that these are one and five eighths inch and these are perfect size for the Turdzilla it's gonna make around 300 wheel horsepower uh, the Cobra's gonna need an inch and seven eighths uh, headers and I also need a I'm gonna want to do a tubular K member when I do that on the Cobra so the Cobra takes a lot of different steps to get to and the Cobra, I, I'm very picky on what goes into the Cobra. Turdzilla, it, it doesn't need all an uh, inch and seven eighths headers. Uh, so we did pick up the BBK inch and five eighths with an off-road X pipe, and uh, those are pretty much going to go in the car. Uh, we're going to get the car tuned. Uh, we might throw it on the dyno just for video purposes to give you guys an idea of the number we're going to see out of the Mark 8 engine. Uh, so we are going to be picking up this build very, very soon. 
So a huge shout out to John. And uh, there were a bunch of people asking, like, w you know, what happened with the whole Cobra engine. Uh, basically, uh, Chris actually blocked me on Facebook. He deleted me from some Facebook groups. Uh, I I never really I wasn't very like uh, rude or anything. I was just telling him like, hey dude. Um, what do you want to do about this? He didn't want to do anything about it. I said, hey, you know, I'm gonna post my video talking about just exactly what happened. Uh, he thought I was trying to threaten him, which it's not, that's not the case. Um, I just want to tell him that like, hey, look, you know, uh, I'm gonna be mentioning your, your business in the video and that you, you didn't really want to work with me and he, was, he basically took that as a threat, which is not what I was trying to do. Just saying that like, I'm gonna tell the facts. Um, so the, you guys kind of agreed with me, um, and then there are some people who say you bought the motor as is. Regardless, uh, we're moving on, and we're moving on with a Mark 8 engine. Uh, so anyway guys, I want you to slap that like button down below, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and we'll see you guys next time.